How are you, Mr. Bachelor? I do not need the services of a heretic today. And nor do the people of New Eden. He seems pleasant. What does a teacher do with no kids to teach? Teaching, sir, takes preparation. At some point in the future, the roads will open and the children will return, and I, sir, shall be prepared. Why didn't you leave with the kids? For some time, I wished I had. Watching the children walk away near broke my heart. For many weeks, I was lost. But the Lord had other plans for me. I know it now. And they are? You shall see for yourself soon enough that you may bear witness. Seen anything strange of late? Do you speak of the disease eating at the fabric of our fair community? We've sealed the well, closed homes and houses, and said our prayers. It has not worked. Apart from that, have you noticed anyone behaving strangely? I have to ask. I have seen the alewife, Mistress Barrow, lurking by the well, hands in her pockets, clutching at her herbals. And as I think of it, before his house burned down with his wife and brother in it, Caleb Watson and the alewife had a sharp exchange of words. It were as if she'd cursed him. If there is a Harrow's witch, I'd start looking there. I'll steer you away from the idea that the alewife is a witch. I'll look into all the same. I must take my leave of you, sir. God keep you. Give us Enough the people are suspicious of Lucy. Our bread! Not our ale! Our bread! Let's see if the rumours are true. Us to starve? I should have the yeast. You know it, Mistress Barrow. You know it full well. If you want yeast, then grow your own. Just stick some in a jar and grow it and you'll have it forever. Now there is none, and it's my fault. Food is a staple, and drink is a luxury. Give me the yeast. How many different ways do you need to hear it? Of yeast, there is no more. There is yeast, no more. Yeast, no, no more. There's no more shitting yeast. You're lying. You're pricking now, Mr. Cottle. And I am vexed. Go home. Go back to your work. Go to hell for all I care. Just go away. Good day to you, sir. Likewise. Red McCreath. You? A Perry Cottle, I'm the baker. What are you doing out here in the rustics? I'm a banisher. I'm looking for ghosts. Find no ghosts here, sir, nor demons. The governor, in his piety, sees to that. I envy your faith, Mr. Cotto. How's that working out so far? A man can do any number of things with his life. What drew you to baking? Well, any of a dozen reasons. I'll not bore you with all thirteen. That's also how old I was when my parents died. I needed work. The baker needed a boy. He was a hard man. His wife was a pure-hearted woman. Taught me well. It is hard work, but I love it. I love it, dear. What brought you to New Eden? Were they short a baker? Elsewhere, folks backslide. Here, we know the value of our daily bread, of God's own bounty. Here, the baker is near in position to a minister. Have you noticed anything strange lately? Changes in demeanour, odd comings and goings? Lucy Barrow goes picking plants. All furtive like. I've seen her. I've watched her. She puts them in her strange concoctions. You won't tell me what's in there. Maybe she'd spill it to you. Thank you. I'll look into it. What's the word around here? Ah, it's gossip you want. Well, so be it. Recently, as I made my way to the mill, I saw Ishmael Law sneak into Phoebe Walcott's barn, his arms laden. Now, I don't, don't know what he carried, but since then, he has seemed skittish. 
How's life in the Harrows? Does it taste sweet now? Or does it taste bitter yet? Life in the Harrows, sir, tastes like hard work. And so it bloody should. What can you tell me about the Governor? Pious man, of great eloquence. He likes a sour loaf, fresh from the oven, so warm, the butter melts right through. I trust him completely. He's devoted, he serves his congregation, diligent and mindful, just like me. What can you tell me about Lamentation Haskell? He seems a good boy. Peculiar. Not the brightest. He's not like his father, oh, no, not at all. I should go. God go with you. Good day, sir. Good day, uh, madam. Mistress, Lucy Barrow, the alewife. Red McGrath, the banisher. Alewife, is it? I'd never have guessed from looking at you. And what does an alewife look like, Mr. Banisher? She's got you there. Tell me about yourself. About your work. What are you, the census taker? I'm Lucy Barrow. I'm earnest, proud, clever. I'm a widow of 41. My husband and I ran a tavern in England. I was the brains, he was... Well, he was there. And if you call me Widow Barrow, I'll fetch my shears and dock your chestnuts. What brought you to New Eden? Freedom. Prosperity. The chance to watch good Puritan men drink till they are sick, even as they fill my purse. And chestnuts. I came for chestnuts. Now I happen to know that the alewife hears stories others don't. So, what's new? Want a story, do you? All right. Recently, I saw Phoebe Walcott walking strangely. She was hiding something under her coat. I don't know what it was, but she went into her barn, and when she came out, she no longer had it. I've seen her repeat the deed on several occasions. Not that I'm counting, nor that I care. How's life in the Harrows? As sweet as you would wish. When is life as sweet as one could wish? Well, that depends on how you define sweetness. Sweeter ale sells better. But the sweetness makes it weaker. Tell me about the governor. Not a big ale drinker, I imagine. Sadly, no. Perhaps if he had been, he might not have been such an arseworm. He's a man, afraid of me. An educated woman. He pries comes calling to check the contents of my pot. He's afraid. A scared little man. I am a woman of brains and means, but despite that, nay, because of it, I fear the witch hunt. What can you tell me about Lamentation Haskell? I hardly know him. He doesn't talk much. I suspect he's smart, but it's hard to tell. He's a little boy. Adorable, of course, but hardly interesting. Can I ask, have you noticed anything strange lately? If you have, be sure to tell me. I'll be sure to tell you if I see anything normal. Strange is the flavor of the hour, the week, the month, and the year. Yet folks still gossip. They're suspicious, aggressive, impatient. Perhaps they hanker for normality. I suppose it figures. Well, if you hear anything that strikes you as unusual, do let me know. Can I ask you something? You may. It is delicate. 
You're the subject of certain rumours. Did you know this? What are you talking about? They say you wander the woods, alone. So? They say you burned someone's house down. Revenge, they say. They say that, do they? They talk, Mr. McCraith, while I work. They'll drink my ale, let them talk. Are we out of rumours now? Or are there more? They say you put herbs in the ale. Amongst other things, yes. You'll note that they also drink the ale. And don't you believe everything you hear? Would you be interested in the trick? What do you need? I'll take my leave of you for now. And I of you. I doubt she's who we're looking for. There was another name. Caleb Watson. Mr. McGrath. I'd wish you the same if I knew your name, sir. Ishmael Law. I have seen you in the meeting house. I have recognized the markings on your hands. I would have liked to have been a banisher to track over the mysteries of our world. That must be something. You wanted to be a banisher? That's unusual. As a child, I met a banisher. I was impressed by the marks on his hands, the assurance in his demeanor. He made me feel safe. You do God's work, though you know it or not. Like Charles Davenport, I respected the minister a great deal. He's a terrible loss. You wanted to become a banisher. Why didn't you? I got married instead. Came to New England. Ruined everything. Tell me about folk round here. A vast subject that requires, perhaps, a more specific question. Tell me about Governor Haskell. A man like me does not get to know a man like him. He is a man of faith. We all trust him. That's all I can say. Tell me about Lamentation Haskell. Nice boy. Very secretive. I do not understand the things he says. Fortunately, he does not say them to me. <laughs> How about you? How are you feeling? Hmm. I've not been asked this in a long time. I am feeling... a bizarre conflict between faith in the Lord and sheer unholy terror. Have you noticed, by chance, any strange behavior hereabouts? Our village has suffered much loss of late. Many of my neighbors have seen the disease take their loved ones. They get sick, and you never see them again. Maybe you hear them moan 
as you pass that house. But then the morning stops. In times like these, pray tell, if a person was behaving strangely, how could I possibly tell? I'm sorry, but I can tell from the look in your eye that you've someone in mind. Hmm. Watson, the shoemaker. Perhaps because of illness or through the loss of his loved ones, but whatever has befallen the poor man, uh, he seems to have lost his mind. I'll see you later, Ishmael. Anytime, sir. Caleb Watson. We keep hearing that name. Let's pay him a visit. Mrs. Buck. Have a good day, sir. Looks like we found the cobbler's shop. Mr. Bachelor. What news around and about? I'll make no report to a troublemaker. I must... God kick... The governor's speech was so inspiring, as always. A shame he was so rudely interrupted. A shame indeed. Uh, maybe we should go home now. Are you ready? I'm ready when you are. Good day to you both. And a good day to you too, sir. And wasn't that quite the entrance you made? It'll be the talk of the town. So, what brings you to our wee corner of the world? The governor bade me make the rounds. He suspects evil doing. If it's evil doing you're after, you may turn around and hurry back to New Eden Town. I met your partner there, the woman. It seems like a lifetime ago now. May God hold you and protect you in your grief. Now, if it excuse us, my sister's not feeling well and we must hurry home. When I met Elizabeth in New Eden Town, she seemed healthy. Dear Eve, I didn't catch your name. God be with you in your terrible pronunciation. Mary Claire O'Hara. This is my sister, Elizabeth. I'm no healer, but I'll help if I can. Do you have plants as need gathering? Something to ease the pain. All the meadow sweet and vervain in the world will not help this fever, I fear. We need no help from the godless. Thank you very much. Our faith guides and protects us. From where comes the fever? <sighs> A bad cut that's spoiled. Tis not your concern. She's dangerously sick. Either she doesn't know it, or she knows it and is hiding it. It's pleasant to meet another Gale. Where in Ireland are you from, exactly? We left Clarenbridge for Boston many years ago. How's life with the English? We're all the same saints under God, sir. And we too are New Englanders now. After seven years in service, we've earned our place here. What do you do around here? We raised livestock, or at least, we used to. We lost it all to the witch's curse. And the curse still stands, does it not? Banisher. What happened to the farm? Sickness took Elizabeth's sheep. And I can weave nothing without wool. And now you really must be going. We'll take up no more of your time. I insist. I'll let you rest so. Slan live. Goodbye to you. Would you pray with us, Mr. McCrate? Elizabeth. God hath numbered my kingdom. Whatever my sister may believe, I've not long now. Please, pray with us. I surely will, if you wish it. Pray for healing, Mr. McCrate. No, pray for peace. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. 
Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. May the road rise to you, Elizabeth O'Hara. Worry not about me. I'll be in heaven long before the devil knows I'm dead. Elizabeth O'Hara, don't tempt him. God be with you, Red McRae, and a good day now. Banisher. Ladies. Noticed anything strange around here of late? Strange? A fine word for the devil's work. I call it evil. Look around you. The harrows are dying. Our flock took sick. Every last animal dead. Ram, lamb and you. Then the people took their turn. Many of our neighbours are with the Lord. At least, that's where we hope they are. If there's witchery afoot, I'll need help finding the culprit. Do you have suspicions you'd care to share? Well, Caleb Watson lately talks to himself. And if you interrupt him, why, he's as rude as a goat. And he was such a well-mannered man, too. Lord forgive me, but I don't like him. The man has stopped washing. He reeks. Interesting. Thank you. Slan, so. Banach Giallat. Smells like death all over. It's justice. Start anew. Shite on these people. They can't hurt us. But how could you make him kiss it again? Oh there. Are you all right, sir? We're closed. Uh, oh, now, out with you. Leave. Leave. I can tell from your sorry demeanour that you won't mind me asking you a couple of questions. I'm Red McCraith. I'm a banisher. I'm searching the area for evidence of witchcraft. And you, I can tell, are itching to help me. Show your shite and shapes, goose peddler. No witches here. Only myself, Caleb Watson. The governor bade me make the rounds. Is anyone acting strange? Why would he ask you that? Everyone keeps secrets. And I have a talent for uncovering them. I ain't got no secrets. I ain't done no wrong. Search me house, if you don't believe me. See for yourself. And when you're done, if you're any kind of man, you'll come back here, doff your cap, apologise, then shite off and never come back. If you're looking for someone acting strangely, I think you've found your man. Tell me a tale. What have you heard round about lately that might be of interest? Gossips for shite bags. Not being a shite bag, I don't gossip. I'll be leaving you alone for now. A man content with his own company is never alone. <laughs> you hear that? Good one, right? <laughs> Fear not. They'll bugger off soon. They both will. Being courted by two brothers at once this rarely ends well. It's wrong, it's wrong, wrong I tell you. Don't go there. What's this? Metal, not wood. Bone, it's bone. Lovely.
You bachelor said Lucy Barrow cursed the house and it burned down. The house burned down, and I suspect the rest is nonsense. Ishmael Law said Watson lost his wife and brother. He's surely haunted, but where's the ghost? I think we need to talk to Caleb Watson. Fear not. You'll bugger off soon. They both will. You've done enough sniffing. Hmm? Tired of the smell of your own ass. You said you had no secrets. That was a lie, am I right? Everyone has secrets. I can smell your secrets from here, mate. A pox on you. And a pox on your questions, too. You're not taking him head on. You must take your time. Outflank him. There's burned debris out back. I found bone in it. Where does it come from? You must have little business if you spend your time sifting through my rubbish. It came from the house. Probably. I read your letter to Ruth. It's clear you loved her. Were you telling the truth about Alexander's infidelity? My name is Caleb Watson. And before God and all present, I swear that the letter I wrote to Ruth was a load of shite. Lusting for his beloved Ruth, I set out to ruin Alexander's name. Because I'm a greedy little prick. You're frank. You don't sound like you regret it, though. No. The past's the past. Dead and buried. My brother is but a lingering memory. It was terrible what happened to your wife and brother. It might have helped if you'd mentioned that. You must be grieving. Do you mind if I ask where they're buried? Shite on me, shite bag brother. And shite on you too. They're both deep in the dirt up at God's Acre. And I'll speak no more of it. What's going on at God's Acre, Caleb? Shite off with your God's Acre. And good riddance to both. God's Acre concerns you not. You need to tell me what happened here. Stop hiding. Nothing happened. I buried. I buried all. Quiet, you. And you can shite off, taking your nothing happened with you. Whatever happened, it happened at God's Acre. I greet you, sir. You... Mrs. Barrow, can I speak with you? All right. Speak. Did you what? I'll take my leave of you for... And I...
the famed and famous banisher, the one and only Red McRae. Have we met? I was at the meeting house. You've got guts. I like that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ooh, politeness. Gives me the shits. I'm Phoebe Walcott. I buy and sell. Now then, what's your pleasure? May I see your wares? I'm a shopkeeper, aren't I? Yes. Have you been trading in New Eden long? Forever and a day, your Highlander Highness. I belong to this land, body and soul, and can no longer tell where I end and it begins. Really? Huh? <laughs> of course not. Don't be so gullible. Life makes more sense to the cynic. Sense of humor won't go amiss, neither. Folk here are too grim to notice how charming and funny I am. Oh, eight years, if you must know. Of the third settlement, I was one of the first to arrive. And look how far we've come since. What can you tell me about the community here? Like whom? I bet you tell me what you know of Governor Haskell. That kind, kind man. He's been so good to me. He's all vapour and bounce. Lammy Haskell. Any thoughts about him? Him? He's so deep in his father's shadow, you'd barely know he were there. And how are you? I'm doing my best to bring a little joy to the world. What with all the gloom. And how's that going for you? Badly. May I see? Tell me. I greet. Would you be in? What do you need? I'll take my leave off. Have a good day, sir. Thoughts on Caleb? You first, young man.
Talking to Caleb felt like talking to a group. I'm thinking possession. Possession is plausible, but the clues are confusing. We jump to no conclusions. Instead, we gather proof. God's Acre. God's Acre. Here we are. Let us find the graves of Alexander and Ruth, and whatever got Kate of acting so strange. Make a run for it! They brought more friends. I think I see a patella. Lovely. Grave robbers. Yes, but what exactly were they stealing? There's another grave beneath it. Undertakers did this, they should find other work. I doubt there's a job on Earth that suits whatever did this. Decoys to distract wayward specters. Rudimentary. Someone's had a little training. Here did lie Alexander Watson. Did Caleb take their bodies? Someone did. And he's at the top of my list. Well, they made quite the mess. Perhaps the decoys make sure it's the way. Follow the path. Don't get too close. I'll try.
this way. More of them. That's what I was talking about when I said don't get too close. Demonology, I should have known. What in God's green hell is this? Fight now, talk later. They never learn, do they? Physical to spectral, they do that. Piss off! It's stronger now. Brace yourself. Vicious scourge that despises the lip. In these lands, what a surprise indeed. Shrines now? With bones? It's like Lady Blackwood's boudoir around here. A ghost left a blurred fragment of its memory. Oh there, fella. You look nasty, aren't you? Nasty, yes. But also, shoddy. It's very poor work. Are you sure we didn't miss anything? With a bit of luck, we'll find what we need. Something's here. Hidden. What 
is this? It looks like a butchered version of the ritual of lesser palingenesis. The ritual of... that ritual? The one that brings someone back? That ritual? Yes, that ritual. That's not the ritual I'd have used. Turn out and turn up! Still confusing your charms? As flesh unto verb, as verb unto heart, as heart unto flesh. Death's knot is unsevered, and I shall cut it. Caleb Watson invoked a ghost without a body for it to inhabit, so it took his. Caleb is no longer Caleb. Is he still in there too? He used pieces of his wife and also of his brother. Ruth, Alexander, Caleb could be any combination of them in there. Let's go find out which. Right here, you know.
This isn't over yet. Trouble's about. Away with you! That ritual, not... I suspect it's beyond me. It's not, but we agreed you won't need it. Besides, Caleb's work was poor. Your work is good. A ritual like that? Good is not a word that comes to mind. been to God's Acre. Quite a tale it told us. You're not Caleb, are you? Or at least not entirely. Ah. Can't fog you. Alexander Watson. Long tale short, Caleb tried to bring his dead wife back. And I live here now. So many questions. Where to even start? Do both of you share Caleb's body? Share? <laughs> no. This house of flesh is mine. But because I am a generous man, I allow my brother to live in the cellar. We were twins. I was the rotten half, they said. But who's the rotten half now? He was trying to bring his wife back. How did you end up in the mix? Caleb made a fine cobbler, a poor brother, a worse husband, and a truly terrible witch. The ritual went to shite, because, <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> There's something else you should know, if you don't know it already. I'm not alone. I completed the ritual. My darling Ruth is in here too. You died trying to save Ruth from a burning house. True. True. And where was Caleb while all this was happening? He was there. He stood rooted in place, frozen in fear. And then it was too late. He could do nothing but watch us burn. Caleb's name was ruined then. We're just putting the boot in. You used the ritual to bring Ruth's spirit into Caleb's body. Why? Love moves a soul to strange endeavors. We deserve a better life. I set myself to claiming it. I understand your anger, more so your desire. But what of Ruth? Did you consider what she wanted? Caleb stole a life from me, but he also stole Ruth's voice. She shrank beneath him. Of course she wanted a second chance at life. 
I'd like to hear this from Ruth. May I please speak with her? No! We've carved ourselves out a little happiness at last. I'll not have you break it. Please, leave us alone. Give us this. We need to speak to her, one way or another. If he won't tell us anything, perhaps the house Ruth died in will. Caleb was no saint, but this is hellish grim. Does he deserve it? Aye, he does. And it's not like I killed him. He's alive in here somewhere. Watching me ruin his name. He can hear me now. Destroying his reputation. As I had to hear him destroy mine when he painted me a fornicator. How nice. He took our love. Ruth and mine and killed it. Now our love's reborn and he can do naught but sit and watch. Caleb was a cat. Shite on him. Let him suffer. I'll be leaving you alone for now. Alone? <laughs> Not really. Hush now. All is well. Nothing bad will ever come to us again. Ruth and Alexander are having an affair in her husband's body. I can't find an angle with that. It's just plain wrong. Something feels wrong. Something about Ruth. If we find the ghost tie, we can talk to her. Oh, it's the bond down. The roof fell in with them inside. There's a lot of debris. Something has me. Wards. The ghost wards feel far away from here. Need a stronger hand from your favorite room?
This work shows real sensitivity. Caleb? Maybe. Not Alexander. I suspect we've just learnt a little about Ruth. Ruth's heart binds them like a bushel of rotting corn. Time must be nearby.
Ty must be nearby. That ritual, I'm not. I suspect it's beyond me. It's not, but we agreed you won't need it. Besides, Caleb's work was poor. Your work is good. A ritual like that. Good is not a word that comes to mind. There's something else you should know. 
You use love moves a soul to... You know you've failed, right? Look at yourself. Smell yourself. You can't live a life in that state. That's my never mind, not yours. If you don't like the smell, you can shite off. I'll not make our lives your business. I'd like to hear this from Ruth. May I please speak with her? No! We've carpooled... We need... I, he can... Hit the... He took care... Up alone. Hush now. All is well. Nothing bad will ever come to us again. Ruth and Alexander are having an affair in her husband's body. I can't find an angle with that. Isn't it just plain wrong? Something feels wrong. Something about Ruth. If we find the ghost, Ty, we can talk to her. The house that burned down. The roof fell in with them inside. There's a lot of debris. Destroy those ghost wards if you want me back. The ghost wards feel far away from here. I must be nearby. Of course, Ruth's heart binds them like a bushel of rotting corn. There, you rank ramp. Whatever you found, it ain't yours. You buried Ruth's heart in the ashes of the house that killed her. I find that odd. You, a ghost, went digging in the ashes of a dead woman's house. You're ill positioned to call me odd. Don't think I haven't felt your presence before. Stole your tongue when I speak with Ruth. Ruth, can you hear me? Can you speak? Pock off and die. I'm in charge here. No. Hush ye, Alexander. I'll speak. I'm Ruth. I hear you. I'm Antea Duarte. We're here to help. Oh, I'm glad. Please, end this nightmare. Help me. Oh, go to hell in a bag of shite. We're fine. And you have not the right, you hear? You've not the right. Her heart! Give it back! Oh. 
plague shall God do. No more does he silence me. We may speak. Help me, please. Caleb's letter changed your life. How did it feel at the time? It tore me in two. I loved Alexander. But I deserved to marry a man who would be true. Caleb seemed decent. I, I believed he loved me. I thought I married the better brother. But I'd married a liar. A liar and a devil. And yet, not even he deserves this. No one deserves this. When did you learn that Caleb had lied to you about his brother's infidelity? Who goes worse shod than the shoemaker's wife? There was no one moment. One day I knew what he'd done and knew I'd known it for the longest time. Alexander had his flaws, but he loved the whole of me. Now I'm sewn into a festering sack with the quivering remnants of my husband and the angry ghost of his dead brother. Please, let me out. Who taught Caleb the resurrection ritual? To say it was taught would mean he'd learned it. He read it off a page. As a sorcerer, Caleb makes a fine cobbler. Thing about Caleb, he was a good listener. As he worked, clients would bend his ear. The Haskell boy, for one. As Caleb pinned the governor's shoes, young Lammy would talk magic. N nonsense, really. But Caleb was listening. Wait. Lammy Haskell gave Caleb the resurrection ritual. After Lammy mentioned the ritual, Caleb became obsessed with it. He begged. Lammy, in his misplaced generosity, gave it. Caleb was intent on dark work. Lammy furnished written instructions. Ruth, your husband Caleb's botched resurrection ritual brought you back but allowed his brother Alexander to take you hostage. Once we deal with the Watson brothers, you should be free to ascend. Do what you must. I'll suffer it if it leaves me free to go. No! We can stay. Please, Ruth, let us stay. Look at you. Your counterfeit, a sham of a thing. Your so-called life is no life at all. Caleb lied and stole your love, but when the time was right, you lied and stole his body. We're ending this nonsense now. Alexander, yours is no romantic fable. There is no moral to this tale. You're a hostage taker, nothing more. No, Caleb can go to hell, for he well deserves it. But Ruth and I are in love. Greedy men fight over a woman as if she were a thing. I'm done with that old story. Time to tell a better tale. Ruth is free to go. I shall have my rest now. Thank you. You are dead. You are no more. Are they gone? Am I speaking with the cobbler, Caleb Watson? That you, Caleb? I, I, I think... Uh, yes, that's me. Or it, it was me, once. For my bastard brother was my hollow keeper. You're not entirely innocent, though. If you'll permit the unfortunate expression, there was more than one of you in it. 
My brother deserved damnation, and you gave it to him. I am an imperfect man, but, uh, but if you're considering the same for me, I'll not go without a fight. I too am an imperfect man. I have mercy and patience in limited supply. Let's not test those limits further, eh? Alexander loved Ruth like a man loves his hat. Love a woman like a thing and you do not love her at all. Ruth deserved better, in life and in death. That was something. Don't take it to heart. Their choices are not your business. Our choices are my business. And the consequences too. Don't waver. We could win a battle, but we can't win the war. Nobody should conquer death, and we don't want to pay the price of trying. I... I hear you. Good. Now, let's see what Lamy Haskell has to say about raising spirits from the dead. Governor. May I help you, Mr. McCraith? I have to admit, this is an unusual case. Yes, yes, but have you solved it? I believe so. But the culprit was not responsible for the plague. At least not directly. Have you found the witch or have you not? Someone here has been dabbling in some dark magic. I have the name. So, what are you waiting for? I have the name. I don't have the full picture. When I do, I'll act. Come, you have the name. You have the proof. The matter is simple, is it not? Not exactly. The name is Lamentation Haskell. No, it can't be. My son is studious. Curious, too curious at times, perhaps, but he does not have a bad bone in his heart. He showed Caleb Watts in a ritual. The cobbler used it and became possessed. Even if true, it would only mean my son was exposed to corruption. It happened before. Bring me proof, banisher. Find the real source of evil. I'll get it. Mark me. Um, his, his beans go there. Needless to... Governor. May I help you? Why, of course, I know all that there is to know. Oh, near enough. How goes... Sir, the body politic bears a heavy weight. Not content with weakening their flesh, the devil's evil attacks the people's hearts and ma Until you expose the culprit. The harmony of this divinely beautiful commonwealth shall remain marred by suspicion and mistrust. Long story shortened, people are not getting along. How did you, a man of position and faith, become a, a deep... Ah, yes. If you'll indulge me for a moment, I shall explain, in the briefest manner possible. Though blessed with intellect and no little fit for a time, my father taught me this. Your son, how would you describe him? Lamentation. How would I describe him? I, well, he is curious, inquisitive, I mean, as opposed to peculiar, although he has his moments there too. I tried to teach him demonology, to make him the third generation of witch hunters. Ah, but he revealed no disposition. Occult knowledge could only obfuscate his good nature. At heart, he is a naive boy who reads a lot and doesn't say much. I'll take my leave of you, Governor. Mr. McCraith.
he was quick to condemn till it was his own son on the block. Who is he really protecting? We'll bring him the proof he wants. If the boy is guilty, his father may not be able to protect him.
Hell's balls. What happened here? Something's emanating from under there. No wonder this place is off limits. One of these must be Lammy's hideaway. Beware, wards. I mean, you here? This is locked from the other side. Arulu, mean anything to you? Not a thing. He mentioned an old mill. Seemed fascinated by the place. There's a lock. I'm gonna need a key. The incisions are clean, the precision of an expert. There's magic here, though faint. Nothing incriminating, yet. Remember what we found at Cape... Philip Watson's. Maybe we're not looking in the right place. If I had something to hide, I might hide it in an abandoned mill.
You were studying botany. Why botany? They brought more friends. Your funeral! Watch out. Spectre position. Think you can take on a ghost? Why a mill? Away from the village. Perfect for his research. Perfect to hide secrets. Well, he's not out here for pleasure, that's for sure. Feel a draft from the invisible.
Something's here. Hidden. Spectres have gathered around. Why not force them to appear? No step from the shadows. Call me. Time for my soul. Think you could take on a ghost? Never mind. to do this myself. They did it myself.
failed shield. Funeral! Wars. I'm going to need a hand here. Enforcements! Throw a tantrum on me. I am warded. Standing by. You can fend for yourself. I'm with you once more. Wards. I'm going to need a hand here. Think you could take on a ghost? She is restless. Perhaps the Kieran Crowan awaits. The who now? Sea serpent. Known to eat seven whales for dinner. There's one off the coast of Cuba, too. Luska, we call it. Is it big? Big enough to sink a galleon. It has tentacles. Mm, your wee squid sounds interesting, aye, but I'd lay money on Big Bad Snake. Spectre's looking for a body. <coughs> what should we expect up there? A gateway to the mythical Aralu. Whatever that is. Otherwise, terrible tragedy. 
dark doings, sick secrets, and a wild guess. Think you can fend for yourself? I am warded. I cannot. Falling off a log after being startled by a wisp in Akron. Try this on. That corpse is going to shoot. Watch out. Spectre position. I'm right here. You know. And the campfire. Just what Dr. Duarte ordered. to need a hand here.
I'm at your side again. The right words of power may force the nearby specters to show themselves. Look to me. I used to coat my wolf kills on one hand. We have a kiss for you. I can handle this on my own. Noku hey. This isn't over yet. I have a 
another in sight. They never learn, do they? Time for me to shine. Heads up! We'll get back up! That corpse is taking aim. Why do I get the feeling of this? Wards. I'm going to need a hand here. Run, Red! 
Going to hell. I don't think so. Just me, you. I felt it too. Looks derelict. Is he really in sight? Silence and a campfire. Just what Dr. Duarte ordered. Think you can fend for yourself? I can manifest now. Off we go then. Oh, there. Guess we're not going that way. There should be a way up here. I feel something close.
What hides here in the dark? Come out, come out. Looks like Lamy was trying to translate some sort of ritual. Not any ritual. This is the Lesser Palingenesis. Uh, I guess no one warned Lamy that grimy reincarnation rituals were not without risk. This relay lad seems dangerous. His apprentice seems to be following him down the same path. So, what are you hiding in here, evil spawn? Glancing at the original writing, Lamy's work was poor. No wonder the ritual he spawned for Caleb from those botched words of power went wrong. He doesn't speak well of his dad. Did he seek power? Was he hoping to step out of his father's shadow? If he did, he went the wrong way about it. We need to get to the top floor. Bet we'll find something. More ghost wards. Someone was being extra careful. Red, come look. Should be useful. It's just a lift. Why is this mechanism so complex? 
more magic muckery. What exactly was he up to? His final notes sound optimistic. Did he succeed? And the signs are not encouraging. You know, I could get to like it underground. The darkness, the gloom, the cool air. Really? No, not really. Not at all. You'd miss it. You know you would. Red, come see this. Dead animals, again. Different symbols and magic. Seems they were used as bait. Is this how we got through the Sorrow's vigilance? So... Here we are. I suppose now, we step into the void. <sighs> suppose we do. Rituals, void breach, general weirdness. Let me can't be far.
Red, I can't manifest anymore. Wards. It's awfully calm. Why is it awfully calm? Wards work well enough. You didn't need to kill so many bots. Demonologists use necromancy. Maybe he thought he'd bring them back when he was done. Wards, you're on your own. Creepy hideout. The governor spawn likes a bit of drama. This one's different. Looks like it died diseased. Ugh. What is this thing? Banisher rule number four. If it oozes, don't touch it. Another botched experiment? It may be native to the void. This is some dark, sideways magic. It's forbidden. I've read it. Sometimes I worry about you. see me? Aren't you full of surprises, young Master Hasker? You may talk. A banisher ghost. Amazing. How on God's earth did you find me? Never mind that. Thank the Lord you did. Thought I was going to grow old in here. Were you stuck in here? In the Araloo? Originally, I was searching for the source of the poisoning. I may have overestimated my talents. Still, 
An amazing place to be stuck in, no? Tell me, how did you get past the Guardian beneath the mill? Did you use a decoy? We fought it. Don't change the subject. You fought it? Of course you did! A good thing, too. I was starting to think it was wise to me tricks. Oh, but I have so many questions. This isn't a social call, kid. And we are the ones with the questions. Oh. Oh. Of course. From the looks of this place, you're knee-deep in research. What are you doing here, exactly? Searching for the origin of the Harrow's Plague, of course. And I have a theory on the subject. Of course you do. Go on, then. Now, at first, I believed the water poisoned, but my father sealed the well, and yet folk remained sick. They looked for witchcraft, a foolish, uneducated suspicion, yes, but with some truth concealed behind it. You see, the Aralu taints New Eden. Its influence leeches into the Harrows. The evidence is everywhere. Can you prove that? Where is your evidence? In New Eden, the threshold between our plane and this is thin. Even I, a novice, may reach the frontier and then go beyond. I also believe it happened before. Some years ago, New Eden was hit by another epidemic. Was it the same illness? I believe that first epidemic was caused by the porosity of the frontier between New Eden and the Aralu. Although, where theirs was an affliction of burning flesh, ours is a corruption of mind and spirit. And I believe I have found its source. There is a substance, a strange ooze. You may have noticed it. This, I believe, is the true source of the Harrow's poison. It carries a particular stink, on the scent of which I experience first confusion, then a loss of control over my limbs. What do you expect to find at the source of the ooze? To find a cure. The ooze seeps into our world, sickening us. I may be able to stop it. Unfortunately, I cannot reach the source. The Aralu is a formidable place. Tricky. A maze constantly evolving, changing, reshaping itself. The Isthmus, for example. I found an oozing crack in the ground. The terrain then remade itself, and I can get to it no longer. Perhaps we might be able to find a way through and take a look at that source. Would you? That would be splendid. Would you mind taking notes? You see ghosts. You stroll the void as if it were your garden. You possess and share forbidden rituals. Who are you really? I'm Lammy Haskell, and I'm a man of many sciences. I am, in fact, a true pursuer. That raises more questions than it answers. What are the pillars of the universe? Which principles underpin existence? As occultists, do we change the world or scratch upon its surface? Each discipline I embrace peels back a new layer of reality. I'm yet at the beginning and see where I already stand. Amazing, no? Are you a demonologist like your father? More or less. Less, more so. My father sees occultism through the eyeglass of his faith, but I know better. So, more so? If you don't share your father's faith, what do you believe? I believe in the afterlife. The proof is about us. And if the void embodies eternal despair, there must too be a place of hope. Ask myself, where? Your father is convinced a witch poisoned his well. Caleb Watson was cursed by a ritual you gave him. I'd focus if I were you. We must counter the devil with knowledge of his tricks. That, my father always said, is the purest of God's work. Uh, 
Imagine your father saying that. When I was ten, he gave me my initiation. Demonology, sir, as he would say. He saw me as his heir. Then, of a sudden, the books were forbidden. So I stole them. The very same books he'd forced upon me as a boy. I understand them, where he does not. I did no wrong. Apart from a little theft. From the looks of this place, you're knee-deep in research. What are you doing here, exactly? Searching for the origin of the Harrow's Plague, of course. And I have a theory on the subject. Of course you do. Go on, then. Now, at first, I believed the water poisoned, but my father sealed the well, and yet folk remained sick. They looked for witchcraft, a foolish, uneducated suspicion, yes, but with some truth concealed behind it. You see, the Aralu taints New Eden. Its influence leeches into the Harrows. The evidence is everywhere. By the Aralu, do you mean the Void? Neither name does it justice. This place is beyond words. The Aralu, Mr. McCraith, is made of the very fabric of our primordial myths. Isn't it amazing? How can you be in New Eden? I also... Was it this? I believe that first, although there is a sub... It carries a bit... To find a cure. The Aralu, I found an oozing crack. Perhaps... Would you... We must talk of Caleb Watson. Why in the hell would you give him a resurrection ritual? Ruth's death hit poor Caleb hard. He was alone, and so I would often stop by his workshop. We talked. He took a keen interest in my studies and was a good listener. When he learned that she could possibly return, he had one question. How? You saw his grief as an opportunity to test the effects of the lesser palingenesis. Oh. You know the ritual, too? Amazing, isn't it? I've studied it. The actual ritual. Not the mangled version you gave Caleb. Yes, and I'm sorry. I found it in a copy of De Occulti Philosophia by Cornelius Agrippa von Nettesheim. A remarkable book. I've met my fair share of illustrious occultists, and none owned an authentic Agrippa. Much is lost in translation or altered in the printing. I doubt your copy is an exception. Of course! The power is in the words and mine were wrong, so the power went awry. How very fascinating! Are you aware of what would happen if people learnt of your studies? Surely the acquisition of knowledge cannot be a sin. Do you remember Deborah? Miss Comenius. Yes, of course, I remember. Your father tasked us with an investigation. One way or the other we must return with the mystery solved. Ah. I think I understand what you're saying. I might be in a tiny little bit of, uh, danger. Let's go take a closer look at that ooze, then. And with that sorrow gone, I can leave. Do be careful. My home is your home. If you need anything, help yourself. The Aralu is not your home, Lamy. But thank you. How may I help you? What is this thing? Vanish your rule number four. If it oozes, don't touch it. Another botched experiment? It may be native to the void.
And there, uh, we should get going. So, the pious governor's unassuming son is our evil Harrow's witch. The more powerful the loose cannon, the more dangerous it is. Red, I can't manifest anymore. Something has me. Wards. Thank you. Anytime. through the breach, separates like a festering wound. How delightful. Let's see what lies on the other side. Underground, looks like. Wonderful. The ooze affects the incarnate, too. Who goes there? Is that a ghost? I don't know. But I don't think we're alone. What might you be then? What was... 
Oh, shite. Did you... did you just say shite? You... It's bigger than I thought it'd be. Is that a house from the Harrows? We may be below the well. No wonder they all got sick. This house belonged to a certain Antipas and Clemency Gibbs. Is that? Yes. Something's here. The Gibbs' land was barren. They were struggling for money. Look up. The ooze, uh, oozed through the very stone. And of all of them, just this one house fell down. Maybe it was personal. Was the Gibbs' house targeted by the ooze? Obviously. Look around you. Mr. and Mrs. Gibbs, have you read my paper? I read it, aye. And then I washed my hands and prayed for grace. You claim to prove that there is no curse. Well... A witch would say that, wouldn't she? Wherever people gather to live, disease takes hold, and I believe... What are you doing? Your evil lies shall be destroyed. We know who you are, and you shall be judged. Witch! They were determined to do for her. She built a case for her rationality, and they tore it apart. Piss off! Mrs. Gibbs, I presume.
I bet you can't cook. in left. Another shadow. What do they want? Red, something is keeping me from manifesting. In here? Ah, oh, shite. Something has me. Wards. Better. You're welcome. Now let's inspect the body. Expect no extra gaps. I have another insight.
Clemency Gibbs blamed the epidemic on a witch. Come from New Eden time with the governor. That's not what the woman they accused was saying. The Gibbs are not at home to rational explanations. Anything. Either the water table is full of ooze, or there's another source. Let's search upstream. Over there. Oh, loose of little buggers. Don't step in that. I mean it. I'll find a way around then. Ghost wards cannot manifest. I can't help you. Well, those echoes we're hearing or the shadows speaking. They always appear near the ooze. So do the whispers. But which came first?
The whispers say the same things over and over. What kind of entity would be so obsessed? I'm drawing a blank. before he possesses the corpse. I'm a this looks perfectly drinkable. Famous last words. Why hasn't the poison spread to the groundwater? Perhaps it shifts and shapes, like the void. Well, at the very least, it shifts. Looks like the ooze comes from a distinct source. You are gone, Comanji. This whole country is rotten to the core. And you're just now reaching this conclusion? If I wanted your opinion, I'd give it to you. Perhaps if you gave me the space to have one, then we'd both be better off. Someone came through here, someone real, not just a shadow. Whoever it was, looks like the ooze got him. What do you think, Antea? You wanted the space to have your own opinion. I'm giving it to you. This must be Antipas Gibbs. Hell of a fall to live through. Now join in any time, Antea. What do you think I'm doing?
this is God's land. How could we let a witch come to our community? Instructing our children, no less. Tis no surprise. New Eden brims over with backsliders. The governor, chief amongst them. Aye, many had to sicken and die for him to act. But the deed is not yet done. We must fight the Lord's good fight and cast the devil out for good. Many want to try the witch, aye, and many want to see her dead. They never learn, do they? This isn't over yet. Did we miss a few? Like those oriental shapeshifters we fought in Bremen. Or back in Liquify. And this is something else. The ooze reacted to our presence. The Gibbs were so angry. Pure entitled bigotry. Maybe they were affected by the ooze. I mean, we've been snapping at each other since we got here. Something's toying with us. I think they made the ooze. I don't think the ooze made them. This is it. This is the source. How do we get to it? Someone's left us a fire camp to use. Something tells me this is the condemned well. Do you think you could get that bucket down? from the past drifts by. I sense the vivid echo of a ghost's memory. The devil still breathes to her mouth. We are cursed, and you are stolen. Clemency, Antipas, please. 
The woman has been jailed. As per custom, she will face trial and justice will be brought to this community. Coming from a magic user himself. But can you or your demonologist discern it really be trusted? How dare you insinuate such blasphemy? I'm a man of faith. Then do what God commands of you. Governor, we ask for safety. If we do not get it, there will be consequences. The governor used Urim and Thummim, and that made his flock suspicious. Divination stones. He must have thrown them down the well when he sealed it. Why now? Hiding the evidence, perhaps, of his role in the witch trial. They connected him to the demonology he used to reinforce his authority. That echo proves that things were getting out of hand. For his son's safety and his own, Haskell must have feared the suspicious mob. Who are you? If we speak, so you listen. Seek the truth. Help, 
I never wanted this. I hate the very thing I've become. Yes, your strikes do nothing. Tia died to help New Eden, and still we fight this cut. What more do you want from us? Enough.
Will we please get out of here? That was awful. This trial. It was as if Deborah wanted us to face what she had faced. But all I feel is beaten. I feel judged. Like I'll never be understood again. Justice miscarried here. Of course. That's it. I know what that was. Such spectre of injustice has a name. The mythical infamy. I've only read about them. They're so rare, most think them a myth. Haskell's cowardice is to blame. To save his own arse, he condemned a woman he knew to be innocent. And so a terrible ghost was born, and sickness piled on sickness. Haskell has so much to answer for. Nothing's concealed. Seems to be stuck. That, then, down there, it was... I was tense. I was impatient. Me too. That infamy really got to us. Years of anger coursed through me. Yet now I can't even remember why. Me neither. This is what an infamy does. It's over now. We're here. I said something to hurt you. I'm sorry. I forgive you. And I hope that you forgive me too. How refreshing it is to the soul to be at once. One thing above all else, my friends, is true. The wicked are at odds with themselves. Oh good, his latest sermon. We haven't missed it.
The Lord's promise of salvation from hell pleases them. The Lord's salvation from misery and sin here on earth does not. This doesn't look like salvation from misery and sin. The wicked pray for deliverance from the fires of hell while piling the kindling high. They proclaim their love for their Lord, yet in his name they serve themselves. Their self-regard crumbles in the light of their hateful iniquities. So, so true. Mr. McCraith, my friend, I'm so glad you agree. Now the wicked man never questions... I have your answers. What? Yes, good. Perhaps we should discuss this privately, if you'll give me just a moment. It's quite the story. You might not wish to hear it. Neither may the good people hear. Please, this is not the time. We want to hear the story. Let the Banisher speak. Tell them, Red. Tell them good. Ah, it is a story that starts with a question. A question for you, Governor. And maybe for all the good people of New Eden. If I give you a witch, will you do what you did to Deborah Comenius? Comenius, say you? The schoolteacher walked with the devil and paid the appropriate price. That's the beginning of the history and also its end. Is it, though? I've learned much about Deborah Comenius and what happened to her. And it tells a very different tale. And what story, pray you, does it tell? It tells the story of a woman, a teacher, living peaceably among friends until there came a plague. In fear, the good people went to their governor. The devil walks among us, they said. And you must save us, or we will find someone who will. This governor knew he could not save them. But he could give them a witch. She would confess, or she would be judged. Deborah Comenius was a witch, Mr. McCraith. She was the devil's tool, and worse, much worse. The trial was not fair. You had no proof, and you knew it. Credible witnesses gave believable testimony, sir. Witnesses like Gibbs, who pressured you into a guilty verdict to avoid being suspected of witchcraft yourself. There was pressure, I'll not deny it. But I did what I did to protect the colony. It was a difficult time. You're a pompous coward, fearful of anyone different, as human as that is. There must be a man to judge, or there is no order. A man to make the judgment, and a man to enforce it. Of all people, you know this. I live and let live. I choose only for the dead. I choose for the living. These people are sinners, sir, and must be led back to the light. This is my mandate, my duty. Admit it. You toy with magic. You don't understand. You, sir, are jealous. I, sir, am tired. I've done my job, fulfilled my contract. I've found the source of the curse. The poison below the well is no more. No thanks to you. Aha! Poison it was, then. The weapon of the wicked, to weaken the people's will. What was it? Belladonna, Hemlock, Foxglove? Betrayal! Truth 
unspoken secrets and lies. Wrongs, basically. Your wrongs. The wrongs you visited upon Deborah Comenius. The wrongs that led to her death. She died at the hand of the body politic. She died at all our hands. Most of all, she died at her own. She died because she would not submit. Twas not my plan to kill her, stupid, stubborn woman. Why did she not confess? I would have granted clemency. I would have shown her mercy. You say your flock forced your hand. For the greater good, you say, you indulge their bloodlust. I believe you did it. I don't believe your motive. You delighted in your magical witch hunt. Your trivial rituals. You thought you'd be lauded for your humility and skill. But you have neither. Now all around you crumbles. Yet still you state your claim as the rightful protector of the people of New Eden. I have found the culprit, the devil worshipper, the source of the evil that has befallen your community. Sorry, son. <gasps> You're having a laugh. You can't be. I don't. Him? <laughs> My son, a witch. <laughs> you mock us, sir. Present proof or retract your ridiculous accusation. Now you need proof. For years, Lamy studied your precious library of the forbidden. But he outdid his father. He learned. It was Lammy who taught Caleb Watson the dark ritual that brought his beloved wife back from the dead. I was trying to help. I did nothing wrong. No! Lord of mercy! For shame. Boy, well, it was always strange. No. No, Lammy is a good boy. I won't have it. Easy, Governor. Your son's intentions were sound, and his mistakes, grave as they were, did not poison the well. Forgive me for swearing in the meeting house, but this is a blooming farce. Have I ever failed you? In evil times, have we not endured? Have I not protected you? Fooled by his own flesh, how could he be so blind? Have faith. The Banisher has lifted the curse. Brighter days are here. I knew you were trouble. You and your lady. Look what you've done. Don't push your luck, Haskell. I've given you a shot at redemption. It's more than you gave Deborah. Damn you, Banisher. Paid in consideration of a curse lifted. All rights defended now and hereafter. I look forward to never seeing you again. Don't count on it. The work's not done. I hate this place. Rest up, then please, let's get out of here.
You're angry. I can tell. Of course you can. Aren't you angry? I'm what? Disgusted. This region is doomed. I know it in my bones. There's no shortage of suffering around here. Ask or sell to that when you're the Deborah's execution. I know that we're together. And it makes us strong, but... I'm still weary. I suffer. And somebody in New Eden is to blame. Aye. Or everybody. The closer we get to my body, to the truth about what happened here, the stronger I feel. My senses rise. It's as if I can taste the silence, smell the scent of wood smoke, feel the warmth of your body, feel Deborah's wrath. I feel it as if it were a part of me. I understand her anger. I feel her rage and can't help but relate to it. But that anger of mine, that fear, I thought when I left home, I'd left them behind. You thought by becoming a banisher, you'd overcome your anger and fear. I thought at least I'd gain control. I'm a big bad banisher. I fear no ghost. But this whole ordeal has shaken me to the core. So much so that the sister I thought was gone for good seems to be winding her way back to me. Your sister, Ayomi Day, wasn't it? No. As a child, before I left Cuba, I had a friend. I chose to call her my sister. That night, the night I died, I dreamed of her. I dreamed of Calendre. Are you sure it was a dream? Is that why you left the schoolhouse without me? Yes. It must have been a dream. She wasn't there. I mean, how could she have been there? But I heard her voice. I'd swear on it. How could that be? The nightmare, perhaps? I don't think so. The nightmare felt close. This felt like it came from further away. As if from a different realm of being altogether. What did you hear her say? I don't know. I don't remember. I think she said we were family. Never to be divided. Well, she's after my job. She can't have it. I'm your family now. Nothing's tearing us apart. Death has already torn us apart. I hate this is where we are. I hate that I'll have to say goodbye. But for now, I'll do everything in my power to catch you. This is how we win. Thank you for being the kindest soul I've ever met. Thank you for being the bravest.
Ceridian? Uh, what do you mean, Ceridian? War! Ceridian, what's wrong? War! 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 I don't think she can hear us. We need to go back to the swamps. You understand that? But it's a bird. It's Ceridian, by way of the invisible, speaking through the crow. Pity it doesn't work both ways. Imagine having a conversation with someone far away. Can you feel it? I have goosebumps. The veil is tearing at the seam. This isn't good. Uneasy. Me too. If I bruise the bud so the specters inside show themselves, you could shoot them. Once freed, the ivy should quickly wither. Something's nearby. Where is it? I can't touch these webbings, but I won't be able to get us through. I cannot make my mark on this web. Get to that ivy on the other side. If I bruise the bird so the specters inside show themselves, you can shoot them. Once freed. Thanks for the gardening tip. Get to that ivy from the other side. The wards have weakened. Ceridian's power wanes.
nobody's home. I can feel it. Crows. They flock to that great tree up there. The banishers are here. Already? How unfortunate. You called us. Did I? I thought I had more time. In the end, it runs out for all of us. As I depart this old carcass, I leave no burning heart behind. Go or stay. To prevail, you must first set your heart at peace. When at last you face the nightmare, you must both be clear on what you want. You must... What do you mean? It is not for me to give you answers, only to prepare you for what awaits. Then we can all go to sleep. Seeker doesn't hate you, Rory. She's just not used to being trusted. Protect her for me. Too late, old moss head, as ever. Oh, we 
away with blood. Old Mossad is no more. I'll never drink from your skull now, will they? Another ancient promise broken. now. You're all I ever had, and all I'll ever have. <laughs> Can I set the world on fire now? I just want to see it burn. A pity. Farewell, then. She took me in when my father, when no one else wanted me. She taught me to stand up straight.
Leave her be. For now. Hmm. Precise. Well done. What will become of Seiko now? She'll try to make sense of her pain. Or perhaps she'll sit with it a while. If she has regrets, she must tame them. Grief knows no rule book. I remember Aoife's wake. Friends and neighbors came from miles around. We stood and watched over for a day and a night. There was food and drink, song and dance. We honored and rejoiced in the life she'd led. Short as it was, I did not have a wake when my father died. Not my mother, not Blair or Anik. But we were running from our enemies and barely had time to bury them. It was as if their deaths had not happened. What if your family can never properly say goodbye? Never see your grave? Mourning customs are social rituals. My family knows how I feel about these things. We know better. As long as my body is free of the nightmare, that is all that matters. I'll be all right. Aye. You'll be all right. What about me? What about me when you are truly gone? Who am I without you? I never wanted to know. When I woke in that cave, I felt like I'd lost everything. I feel like I lost everything. I'm still here. For now. I'm so afraid when you won't be anymore. I'm afraid to. Afraid to leave you behind. Afraid to journey on. I had such plans. We'd live such wonders together. Just... I wanted more time. So did I. But we are together now. One last great adventure. Aye. That's something. I miss the warmth of your skin. So much. And I yours. But are we sure about what we're doing? Are you sure this is what you want? We made an agreement. Are you having second thoughts? I don't know. Maybe. Ceridian's death has changed things for you. Aye. Uh, more so Seeker's grief. I could have you back. I long for it. It pains me. Should we reconsider? It 
It may not be too late to change our minds. But you must promise me, Red, whatever we decide, we stick to it. We cannot change our minds again. I swear it, my love. This is it. We may be tempted. We must not succumb. Vanish us. We remain. to the end. Spared by the Banishers, but his undoing complete, Mr. Fairfax Haskell must live with his sins. Their governor rode the pendulum from pinnacle to pit. The shaken faithful must turn once again to the Lord. This new quest for purity may end like the last, in injustice and misery. But to whom will they listen? Can they be stopped before it's too late?